All right, what is up, YouTube family? Uh, it's K-Rod here. I'm back with another good video before I get up out of here to bed. Um, yeah, so let's get right to it. Uh, let's talk about the topic that I had in mind. Here are my notes. Um, hmm. I don't know what I want to talk about. I like to talk about Fight Night Champion 2. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let, uh, uh, um, ah, shit, sorry. Let's get that video out the way so that way we can get that shit done. But for those of you that don't know, EA Sports has recently announced um, that they have let the green light to make Fight Night Champion 2. But I believe it's in early development, so it's not fully being worked on fast and quick. But I think, um, if anything, EA, they're going to have to step on it because, um, you know, Fight Night Champion 2 or Fight Night Round 5, like whatever Fight Night that they want to go for, that's going to be a really good competitive uh, marketing game for the future. And um, I would like to see this uh, game definitely take place uh, sometime in the near, uh, like, maybe, like, future and, like, by, like, Christmas time or, like, maybe New Year's. Um, probably get, like, a, you know, gaming update of, like, um, of, like, when that game is going to come out. Because usually Fight Night games come out within two years or any type of boxing game. So... You know, um, it's not like that Fight Night can't be made um, within, you know, like, I guess like a year's worth time span. But, I mean, obviously, like, we as boxing fans and gaming fans, um, we want to uh, seek a better game that's going to make us love that game for quite a long time. Similar to that with uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Tenkaichi series. Uh, the first one was... Uh, not that good, but then eventually uh, the developers copied and pasted, you know, let the gaming engine and then and then let the second and third one was ten times way better than the first um, than uh, the first one, because obviously let the third one has like better uh, modifications to it as uh, modders are able to put, you know, like certain characters in there. And I guess that the move sets that people were able to mod in Tenkaichi 3 versus from Tenkaichi 2 and 1. Uh, those games are obviously not as, uh, like, very popular, uh, but definitely Tenkaichi 3 has its mark and being that type of game of, wow, like, this game is awesome, everybody likes it, and, you know, it's a good all-around retro uh, player type of game. But let's talk about... Uh, Fight Night Champion 2. Um, I'm probably just going to call it like that because um, I personally believe EA is probably going to do it like that. But let's just give a personal wish list of what I expect at a Fight Night Champion 2. What to um, uh, see out of this game if it were to be built. So, number one, um, I want to see better mechanics. Um, obviously, from all the other Fight Nights that we've seen... Um, Fight Night has been a very, very good series ever since, like, Fight Night, like, what, round one? And I'd probably say even, uh, Knockout Kings and George Foreman's HBO Boxing, which I want to say HBO, uh, HBO Boxing was, like, its own thing, but, yeah, um, let's just start out with, like, Fight Night round one all the way up until, like, round, like, f like, maybe four leading into Champion, those games were god tier awesome. Uh, the first one was a little bit iffy, not the best game in the world. But once Fight Night Round Two came in, everybody loved that game. They had like certain feature characters like Floyd Mayweather, James Tony, um, Roy Jones Jr. Obviously, and and uh, uh, and uh, uh, Bernard Hopkins and whoever that was in there. They obviously didn't have like the premier level fighters like. Oscar De La Hoya, well, actually, no, I think the Fight Night Round 3, they did have Oscar De La Hoya, but they never had Manny Pacquiao, or they never had, um, uh, Andre Berto, or they never had, um, any, like, anybody, like, you know, like, as far as, like, the, the you know, all-time greats, 
you know, um, in that game, like Eric Morales, uh, Juan Manuel Marquez, uh, Marco Barrera, um, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., Pernell Whitaker. I mean, if they had all those fighters, yeah, like, that that will definitely cherish, you know, the sport very, very well if they did. But obviously, um, you weren't really able to do that. That's why people were, like, you know, like, were calling for a fight night where you were able to get all the characters that you wanted through, like, a downloadable, you know, fighter share, you know, database. So that way people can make and create their own fighters and have fun with it. So I would say that that came with the evolution of Fight Night Round 4 because obviously all the characters that you were able to make in that game, people were able to mod them copyright free, obviously, because, you know, it's your own character and people had fun with it. So it's not like people are stealing anybody's ideas. And as much as I hate copyright and how anti-free market it is, um, that was the glory of having those you know, uh, mechanics in the game or having those features in the game where you were able to just download whatever character that you wanted that somebody had made, you know, like within, I guess, like their own software. And then it was good enough to the point where you actually enjoyed, I guess, like the type of characters that you wanted. So I probably say for as far as like this game goes, um, I like to see that definitely back. Um, I would like to definitely see a well heavily advanced tool mechanisms as far as fighter styles. Obviously, we have seen it in Fight Night Champion, but I guess like they're not as um, it's not as elusive and it's not as you know uh, deep and um, and straightforward with how a fighter engages in their fights, and then it actually doesn't you know, signify about the difference in fighter style. So maybe something if they had like different like archetypes of like what type of fighter you are, especially in fighter legacy or create a legacy or 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 basically um in the legacy mode, like they they should give you like certain archetypes similar to that of NBA 2K, where it, it actually asks you like what type of fighter do you want to be? Do you want to be a brawler? Do you want to be a boxer puncher? Do you want to be an outside, you know, type of fighter, a boxer or a pure boxer or like, or like maybe like a, like, uh, 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 or maybe like a mix them up type of fighter or maybe a, you know, defensive, you know, outside counter puncher. Who knows? I mean, if they had something like that in a legacy mode for a fight night, that would be awesome. But Obviously, for like the actual game itself, I can understand why Fight Night, um, especially for Fight Night Champion and Fight Night Round Four, they struggled to get all the styles right for every single fighter. And I would probably say they 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 should have worked more on the fighter movement too, because um, a lot of these fighters just have like basic movement. Like they obviously don't have like I guess like the stick and move jabbing jabbing type of movement combination uh, angles where. You could switch up with the stances similar to that with, uh, you know, Marvin Hagler or Terrence Crawford, to say the least, where they're able to stick a move, but they're also to, like, switch their feet in the process. And I think, like, like you know, like, with like, the type of, like, animated technology that I guess most gaming industries have, I would definitely expect that out of EA to work on that for, for you know, all the fighters. But obviously... You know, they can't just bring fighters back um, from the dead and try to, like, re-emulate, um, you know, Joe Lewis and, uh, I guess, like, Sonny Listen. So, they're probably going to have some standard movement for a fighter. But then on top of that, when you're, like, a certain type of style for a fighter, like Muhammad Ali, um, it should give you certain abilities to emulate, you know, like, the same skill sets as Muhammad Ali. And then... It can just go down the list with any type of fighter. But I can understand why EA, they probably just made it simple to say like, okay, Fight Night is just its regular arcade style type of game. And the type of fights that you'll see with certain characters is just based off of how they fight. 
And that makes perfect sense in the world because Fight Night is built to be a arcade 1v1 type of fighting game. But the problem is, is like if if you have like Floyd Mayweather versus like let's just say a Conor McGregor, then how does their styles really differ from one another? In, like you know, in game, obviously Conor McGregor he hasn't been a really f- like really full fledged fighter, so his stance will ov- obviously be a standard type of fighter. But for Floyd Mayweather, his stance always switches up. Like obviously Floyd he can come in with like a high guard. Or he can come in with a Philly shell and, you know, Floyd, um, Floyd Mayweather, he, like, he basically makes you think within the fight and, and he doesn't give you any proper stance of how he fights. And he only fights as a orthodox, so that, that's another technicality issue that a lot of fighters don't really like out of Floyd where he, like, you know, he's not your standard orthodox fighter. He's a very unorthodox trick tr- like you know like multiple trickster mastermind defensive juggernaut fighter because Floyd is the definition of a pure boxer like yeah at one point when he was pretty boy he was a boxer puncher but you know his power wasn't able to carry in like you know in higher weights so his style had to switch up within uh the course of his career and then you know he became money mayweather after pretty boy mayweather so I think what Fight Night needs to do, uh, they need to give you different archetypes of different types of fighters. So, like, if I select Floyd Mayweather, it should give you the ability to, to either, like, to either select old Floyd Mayweather or, you know, or, uh, prime version Floyd Mayweather. And I'd probably say maybe, uh, yeah, I'd probably say that's about it. I mean... Obviously, like, you could just put Foy Mayweather in, in, like, whatever type of weight classes that he was in, and then you could choose, like, what type of Foy Mayweather that you want for the given weight classes based, based off of his previous ages. So, the old Foy Mayweather would obviously fight at, like, 154 or, like, 147. But, um, I mean, then on top of that, Fight Night Champion gave you the ability to, you know, choose your fighter in online... Uh, ranked competitive play and then you were able to like use that fighter in like higher weight classes so yeah so i'm pretty sure ea they can easily fix that up and give you all the type of type of fighters that you want to choose but a big big major thing that they need to work on is uh the defensive reads um obviously like fight fight night champion had the best defensive reads but i think they need to do something a little bit different where if you're a type of defensive counterpuncher, similar to that of like, you know, Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford, like people people that had good, you know, that have good defense, um, it should give you a type of motion that you're able to read and catch punches a lot faster, and then you're able to do the right things to, you know, respect your opposition or to have your opposition respect you based off of, like, the hand-eye coordination, the head movement, switching up, like, your feet while you're, you know, uh, um, fighting off your back foot, and then, you know, just catching people off of, like, reverse angles and just being a slick, you know, counter-puncher type of fighter. I mean, if they definitely add that into the game, um, I'll definitely like that. And I'm pretty sure Fight Night is definitely going to have that. They're going to have, like, fighter motions of, of how you move in the ring. And then they're definitely going to have some some sort of, like, puncher's chance type of system where, you know, if you get hit at a certain sweet spot, then that'll tag a fighter or it'll actually give, like, a, give a fighter, um, you know, uh, like, uh, um, let's just say, like, a stun shot where it's going to affect a fighter's you know, motion and how they fight. And, like, um, I guess, like, they could just, like, make it easier to say, like, if you hit someone clean to the temple, then that will result in either a knockdown or a possible knockout. Or just getting them hurt where they're being put in red, uh, health bar meter, and then they're being close to being knocked out or knocked down. So, I think... 
I think honestly, like fight 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 night champion is gonna be like probably like one of those good like throwback, you know, comeback games where it's definitely gonna bring back like the boxing world uh together. And it's definitely gonna make like all the hardcore boxing fans, you know, um respect like, the game more. And then it's going to be more traditional style type of boxing. So I definitely like to see that being implemented into the game. But on top of that, as far as characters, as far as the storyline goes, um, obviously storyline, I like to see a male and female v- version, you know, of the, um, of the storyline. I think that would be really, really good, especially, um, as far as just like promoting, you know, female boxing and men's boxing together. So if they could do something like that, I would like to see that. Um, I think that would be really good you know, to, to have, like, those type of, you know, variants as far as, you know, like, um, I guess, like, experiencing, you know, uh, I guess, like, uh, certain fighters, uh, that you face in the game, and then it helps you get accustomed to, like, the mechanics in it, but I would also like to see, um, I guess females added to the game. Because now that women's boxing is slowly but surely gaining some, you know, legendary attraction to it, um, I like to see, uh, fighters from the female end get their love and respect. And obviously, I'm sure EA, they're gonna probably be getting all these fighters, you know, registered and put onto the the roster. But some female fighters that I like to see on there would be fighters like, uh... Clarissa Shield, shout out to the quote, love ya. Um, same thing with uh, Amanda Serrano, uh, the real deal, Holyfield 2.0. Um, sh- that would be a great fit. Obviously, adding Katie Taylor. I mean, I don't like Katie Taylor, but add her in, put Michaela Mayer in, put uh, put Alicia Baumgartner, and then I guess like add, I guess like the rest of what the ladies like, you know, some UK ladies and some. You know, good Mexican female fighter girls like Aureli Muncino, Jackie Calvo, uh, Mariana Juarez, um, Jackie Nava, who one, who was once good back in the day. Um, probably add in some good Argentinian female fighters like um, 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 Alejandra um, Oliveras, Chris Namis, um like definitely add in like you know all the female you know early 2000s um legendary fighters like Lucia Riker, Mia St. John, uh Regina Halmich, Chrissy Martin, um Chevelle Hallback, uh Belinda Laracuente, Samia Anani, um Denise Moradis, which I mean she she obviously wasn't like the best fighter out there. Um definitely add in uh Brittany, no, not Brittany. Uh, man, I forgot that girl's name. She knocked out that British lady. Oh, man, I forgot her name, man. Uh, I forgot her. But it'll come to me. But basically, Adam, a good number of those female fighters. And I guarantee you, like, that, that'll definitely make a huge attraction. And I think that's what EA will probably do anyway. But obviously, add females in Create a Fighter. I think that is heavily, heavily requested. I I would definitely like to see females be added into the game more. As far as, like, giving, like, you know, all the cyber faces of all the fighters that anybody wants to download. Like, whoever. I I don't care, like, what female fighter it is. If it's, like... You know, like Nicki Minaj or fucking Rihanna and Beyonce, whatever. I mean, if they could have that type of freestyle mix of characters, by all means, go for it. That that that's what's good for you know, like for the sport. And um, I think um, if they if they had all this energy to to make create a fighter uh, legacy for just males only, imagine what it would be for females where. You could have like, the same ranked competitive play on top of having, um, you know, like your own like um, little, you know, legacy mode where you could train at the gym. 
you could spar with other people um you could go to you know promotional fight like you know fight um fight um events where you know if you beat this opponent you can get you know like with this promoter and then you can have like certain sponsorships come right behind you so that way you could earn more money where like uh they can just basically go back to um i guess fight night champions set up where you know if you make more money then you get more skill points to upgrade like your characters and then once you're able to develop like enough skills for your characters then you're able to you know challenge for all the top tier contending spots and then um you could work your way up to become a world champion or whatsoever so i think i think that would be pretty good uh obviously there uh, there's definitely a good a good number of or a good load of work to be done but um i definitely like to see that i think i think that would be absolutely amazing for fight night champion 2 and whatever that game can bring uh by all means i like to see it um some other changes that i like to see is uh making sure that um they have like the belts in the game um cuz last time when they had belts in EA uh they they obviously didn't have up like, the major sanctioned bodies in the uh um or sanctioned body belts in the game but i like to see that i like to see the WBC the IBF the WBO WBA obviously those sanctioned bodies would probably you know charge EA money to to uh, to try to do some bullshit like that but you know if they want to actually just make like their own type of belts you know, it doesn't really matter. They could call it, like, the EBC, the EBF, the EBO, you know, like, EA Boxing <laughs> Organization, and, you know, like, the, <laughs> I don't know, they, they can easily call it, like, the EABC, the EA SBC, or, like, whatever. It doesn't matter, because at least it can be shaped as, like, you know, like, all four major sanctioned body belts. But just in like EA theme. Because I understand like what the sanctioned bodies are going to say to EA. They're going to say, oh, well, you want to market our belts onto Fight Night. Well, no, you got to pay us some uh, sanction fees, you know, for the game. And I mean, that that's obviously big money being, you know, like, like being, you know, funded into that game. But on top of that, it's like. You guys are sanctioning bodies. You guys don't really have a say in the video game world. And I would really hope, like, that's never to be, like, the case, like, in, in terms of, like, paying these sanctioned bodies out just to use their belts in a video game. Because that's really, really effing dumb. Because I've never seen a boxing game ever where a company says, oh, well, we have to pay sanctioning fees to the sanctioned bodies, but yet... You guys ain't working for them. You guys ain't actually doing anything for them as far as fighting goes. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think that would, like, I don't think that should be a problem. But if it is a problem, then yeah, EA should just go back or just stick to their regular, you know, idea of just having, uh, you know, like their own type of creative belts. And then, you know, people could just challenge for it. And people could treat it like a IBF or WBA or like however many belts that they have in ranked play or, you know, just offline legacy mode play. But um, what I would like to see is uh, I like to see let the game elevate to a level where if you beat the man that beat the man, you know, you could be able to like challenge anybody in like different weight classes. So like. If you want to, like, skip up, like, three to four weight divisions, then, obviously, uh, you should have, like, the, um, option to do that. And, you know, like, um, let's just say if you build a character that, you know, that is a middleweight. And, obviously, like, for the male division, we'll probably start it at, like, uh, eh, I really don't want to choose minimum weight, but I guess if you want to really start all the way there to like heavyweight let's just say we have a fighter at minimum weight and then you get all these belts and you do like whatever what the hell that you think you want to do at that weight then what you can do is that if you don't want to fight at what the next 
um like um obviously like let's just say if you don't want to move up to about the next division or two and let's just say you want to go from like 105 all the way up to 126 it should give you that option to do that and and, and then obviously on top of that it's like it really depends on like how tall your fighter is so if you're like 54 and 105 pounds then i probably say you can have like a weight like like a max weight um increase limit to like four divisions because at least that way you can move up to like what flyweight super flyweight and then bantam weight and then super bantam so so yeah like you know something something like that you know if they give you that option i i would definitely like to see that because like what i didn't like out of fight night champion 2 is that they only gave you like one division that you could move up to at a time but it was only through your manager that said okay now it's time for you to move up and wait after you've collected all the belts in your division and that didn't make any sense because it was like no nah, dude you know i don't i don't want to do that you know i want to either move up and wait oh and also um it should give you the option to move down and wait and then you know, uh, the game should, like, give you, like, certain risk that you can take with that. Where, like, if you move down a weight, then your stats are going to go down. But if you move up a weight, then some some of your stats can go down and, and up depending on, I guess, like, the skill set that you possess, you know, as a fighter. So, i definitely like to see that. Um, I would probably say as far as, like, training features go, as far as preparing your fighter for a fight... Um, they should definitely add, like, you know, new drills. They should have, like, road work. They should add in, like, I don't know, um, maybe, uh, maybe, like, combination pads, but, you know, obviously through a, uh, you know, like, a faster tempo, and then they should probably add in, like, just, like, you know, like, any type of drills to get you ready at, like, for a fight as a fighter. Um, obviously I think, I think that'll just come with like, you know, the evolution of just different type of drills that fighters do. So I'm pretty sure EA, they, they can obviously fix that. Um, I'd probably say another thing that they should add in is, uh, promotional, um, arenas. Um, obviously, you know, like we've seen certain arenas such as like MGM Grand and like what? Uh, the Madison Square Garden. Well, actually, no. They they never added in MSG in the fight night. I don't think so. But they've only had, like, Thomas and Mack Center, MGM Grand, uh, some, some, like, little local gyms that, you know, EA made up out of nowhere. Like, you know, like, North Philly Gym and I guess, like, whatever like, the fuck, you know, some of these, you know, maps are. You know, like, the Arrogant Ballroom, which... I want to say that that is something that exists in real life as far as a boxing arena. But they should have, like, you know, famous venues. They should have MSG, Thomas and Mack Center. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, um, I don't even think Thomas and Mack Center actually is a thing. But if that is a real arena, by all means, keep it. Keep the MGM Grand. Um, they should add in the... Michelob Ultra Arena, the T-Mobile Arena. They should have the AT&T Center down in Texas. They should have in uh maybe let the MetLife Stadium Arena down in down in uh like what New Jersey or maybe Philadelphia. I would like to see that. Uh oh, definitely Barclays Center. Yeah, if they um if they could add on those like big time arenas where PBC and Top Rank, you know, they'd be popping. You know, like with those, you know, certain type of like arena venues, that that would be good. They they can just go like all nationwide. They could have like one down in Miami, one in Venice Beach, one in maybe like out in like the middle of nowhere, like Minnesota. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely Minnesota. Like places like that, especially where like fighters like Jamal James and uh, who uh, Dave, uh, David uh, David Morrell have uh developed like a spotlight over there um oh yeah definitely definitely uh some somewhere down in like maybe texas or florida like obviously florida 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 would definitely be the perfect spot for that 
um, anywhere. It don't really matter. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely add some international spots, uh, especially worldwide. Have, like, the Japanese Korakuen, Korakuen Hall, uh, have, uh, the British, um, O2 Arena, and I probably say add in, hmm, after the O2, what would be the other one? Maybe, like, maybe, like, Manchester City Arena, or maybe Sheffield, I don't know, like, definitely definitely make some good arenas you know what i'm saying like add in some european you know map you know arenas and add some japanese ones especially like um i guess like one of like my favorite maps that they had in fight night had to been like the fucking uh <laughs> uh they should probably add in um i guess like the prison map too that that uh that would be pretty dope if they could actually have him bare knuckle fighting for both male and female oh dude that that'll be awesome and they should definitely add in like a bkfc map that that will be fun um definitely add in a uh maybe like maybe some like tropical outside you know like weather maps who knows like i don't i don't know what the future can hold for that but though those ideas would be amazing but I would also like to see, um, maybe a, hmm, I want to see, like, a promotional, you know, cross, or cross-promotional type of, like, you know, um, I guess, like, rivalry fights. So, I guess, like, what happened with Fight Night Round 3, or Fight Night Round 4, I forgot which one it was, but they had, like, you know, like, rivalry, like, rivalry, um, legacy fights, and, uh, those type of fights were awesome, because, because those fights obviously had, like, the best fight and the best, and they had, like, their little story behind it, so if they could, like, add in, like, what if rivalry fights, or any past rivalry fights, like, obviously add in, like, Bernard Hopkins versus, uh, Felix Tito Trinidad, uh, add in Miguel Cotto versus, um, Antonio Margarito, Oh, definitely have Floyd Mayweather and Zab Judah. Oh, dude, that that'll be dope. Have uh, Chris or Chris Eubank Senior versus Nigel Ben. That like those are obviously like one of like, the best best fucking fights ever. Um, have uh, Mickey Ward versus um. Have Mickey Ward versus uh Arturo Gotti. I would like that fight, Mike Tyson versus Vander. Dude, Fight Night, Fight Night Champion Two can easily be like the best game of the year. But back to my current topic that I was saying, if if they could add those like type of rivalry fights, or you can make your own rivalry, or just relive whatever rivalry fight that you want, it should definitely be added in the game where. You could choose like presets and then you could create your own rivalry fights and then you could have that shit like promoted as far as like, hey, check out this good future rivalry matchup between like, let's just say Alicia Baumgartner and and uh, Michaela Mayer or Alicia Baumgartner versus um, Amanda Serrano. Like, I don't know, but you know that the options are so endless because that could easily fucking happen, but you know, obviously, I'm just giving out ideas, and I don't, I don't even know if any of y'all developers will be listening, but if you guys are listening, I think that's a good step, yeah, that's a good step, in, um, in the right, uh, direction, and, um, I think EA would do themselves a good service in doing that, and, um, I guess as far as, uh, fight gear, um, they should definitely add in more fight gear, uh, they should have, like, your own customizable mouthpieces where you could, like, put, like, your photos, um, in it and shit. And definitely add in, uh, boxing customizable trunks where you could, like, put, like, whatever type of sponsors that you want on them. Like, let's just say Blu-ray Fitness or whatever. But, obviously, uh, they, uh, Fight Night Champion did a good job in giving you the ability to choose what type of uh trunks that you wanted to use but i think what they should have done a little bit more is that they should have given you the ability of like what type of branding of trunks and gloves and uh 
let's just say shoes that that you wanted to use um obviously they they did a good decent job with just like the pre you know without the presets of like what you wanted but they should have given you the ability to choose like whatever type of trunks that you wanted to make whether if it was like a country brand or a certain type of like customizable brand of trunks that you wanted to you know introduce obviously give like certain pattern colorways for your type of trunks and then you know um it'll make a better uh scenery for your fighter because that's obviously what people want to see at um, um out of like your uh create a character but obviously you know if you want to do that on like a um existed character or you know past character in the past then definitely um have that option made available if people want to do that especially if they want to do that in ranked gameplay or just like regular casual online gameplay but i guess that's the final thing i'll cover then i'll get up out of here because i had a really good conversation and i'm starting to get tired a little bit but definitely say fix up rank competitive gameplay obviously get rid of uh, the spammers get rid of people that cheat and definitely fix up uh the ranking system like especially when you got some of these guys that do be cheating they they definitely be having you know but their records like absolutely you know i guess overblown with like the amount of wins that they have and then it doesn't really tell you like you know like what type of gameplay that they be doing online but definitely uh just get rid of the cheaters and ha make sure that there's a good security system behind you know nobody trying to hack other people's accounts or hack uh you know i guess like the game then the uh, and, and then the gameplay itself will be a lot better but yeah uh, I want to say that is about it. Um, I think I are already gotten what I wanted, but yeah, that should be it. And uh, thank you guys. So let me know what y'all think, and um, I'll see y'all later. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.